For the past five years, I've been working really hard to reduce my waste in an effort to have a positive environmental impact. And a part of that is me collecting all of the trash that I do produce in a mason jar. Everything that's in the jar is made of plastic. It's plastic that isn't recyclable through New York City's recycling program. However, to this day, I've actually found ways to recycle it, but I like to keep it as a way to focus on pieces of plastic that aren't necessarily huge problems, but pose a threat to the environment. So things like produce stickers, the pieces of plastic that connect a price tag to a piece of clothing, those little thin socks that you try on at stores when you're putting on a shoe, things like that that have you know a big impact, but they're kind of hard to see, like festival bracelets, those two. So I, basically started one step at a time. To me, zero waste is about baby steps. You know, it's about one-time changes that have a long-term and large-scale positive impact. It's not about doing everything at once, because from a zoomed out perspective, zero waste seems impossible. But when you look at the pieces, you know, using a reusable bag isn't so hard. Saying no to plastic straws isn't so hard. A reusable coffee cup, really easy, and you save money starting a compost. So the sum of all of these parts has a really powerful, large impact. But when you look at them closely, it's, it's really not that difficult, but it takes time. So the first change actually that I made when I was going zero waste was making my own toothpaste. So I've just started learning more about natural medicine and natural products and started making everything from deodorant to cleaning products to laundry detergent. It's all elastic, but that's the cool thing about making your own products. You can do whatever you want and you don't have to be at the mercy of anyone else's choices. You can decide what goes in and on your body. There are so many misconceptions about reducing waste. The first is that it's very expensive, which is totally untrue. There are so many ways that have no cost. Another one is that this is very time consuming. So all of these preconceived negative narratives around reducing waste, I've, I've found to be completely untrue for me. I believe that you know people should live the life that makes them feel the happiest and live their values, for me, my values are environmental sustainability, so I choose to live my life in a way that aligns with that, but everyone's values are different, everyone's goals are different, so I, I truly believe in just doing what makes you feel like you're the best possible human and, and sticking with it. I'm Lauren Singer, I believe that zero waste is all about just feeling awesome.